This episode of Ties I Help is brought to you by Jack Threads. What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you my top 5 Cydia tweaks for the iPad. So I've got my top 5 city of tweaks. I'm going to be going in order from least favorite to favorite uh, at the end. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. The first tweak I'm going to show you is called full screen for iPad. And I think it costs about $2 in the city of store. Uh, so unfortunately it is paid, but I think it's definitely worth it uh, if you want a better browsing experience on Safari. So basically the name explains itself. It is a full screen uh, browser or it adds full screen browsing to Safari. All you have to do is take one finger and double tap on any web page and as you see it is now full screen the top bar up here with all the tabs and everything uh, is gone so you can just have a better browsing experience now also what it does let me go ahead and double tap again that takes you back to the the top bar up here uh, you can actually use two fingers swipe left and right and scroll through the tabs I've got three tabs open here I'm in the middle tab I'm gonna go left okay go right go right sometimes it doesn't pick it up you have to do it right um, but yeah as you see I've scrolled through the tabs now I'll go back uh, and you can also do this when it's in full screen mode. So it just adds for a little bit of a better browsing experience and kind of makes it a little bit faster uh, for tab switching. Sometimes you see right there it's not working 100% right but uh, it does pick it up if you do it like once or twice. There we go. It takes a second sometimes but it just makes for a little bit easier uh, tab switching uh, and a better browsing experience uh, for the full screen browser so you can take uh, advantage of the whole uh, iPads. Uh, screen. The next tweak I'm going to show you guys is pretty amazing and I don't really know how to pronounce it. I think it's Kusar or something like that uh, but I'll put it in the video as well as in the description below. So basically what this does is let you have multiple windows opened up on your iPad. Here's an example. So I just opened Twitter. Normally it would look like this but it doesn't. It, uh, it looks like this. So basically what this allows you to do you drag this little bottom bar down here and you can have multiple windows open up at once. See I've got my window open up right here in the back. Uh, the home screen is like dimmed. You just tap the home button. Uh, this will hide. Then I go ahead and open up Facebook and then this is still back here. There's Twitter where I opened it. So I've got two windows open up uh, right there. Now these are kind of small. I can't really read them. If I wanted to make Twitter big, there's actually a little arrow right here. I just tap on that and I drag it to be as big as I want to. Uh, so this is actually really cool uh, for iPhone apps for the iPad. Like if you have the, the apps that don't fit the iPad screen, instead of making them two times in size, you can just keep it up right here and still have like Twitter or something else uh, like that open uh, over here on the side. So it kind of makes for a better multitasking uh, experience. So I could be doing something here, like I could, um, I could do something on Facebook like if I wanted to copy some text and then go over here and uh, hit the tweet button and, and tweet it out. Uh, I can kind of multitask better and have multiple windows open at the same time and I can resize them and, and if I want to just quickly look at my Twitter feed while I'm browsing Facebook or, or, or do whatever. You can pretty much open up uh, any app with this um, and have it uh, like all running together at the same time. And It's actually really smooth. It doesn't lag up your iPad any. Uh, it seems to work great for me um, and it's a pretty cool little tweak. One of the downfalls in my opinion to this tweak is uh, when you open up an app it's going to open up as a smaller window so you do have to tap the full screen button. Not too big of a hassle uh, but if you want to just quickly open it up uh, and have the regular viewing experience that you're used to, you just have to tap an extra button. Uh, and another downfall is that it's actually $9.99. So it's basically 10 bucks uh, in the Cydia store. But uh, this can be very useful uh, and I'm sure you guys uh, will love this. So the next week I'm going to show you guys is called Spring to Mize 2. Uh, the 2 uh, stands for uh, being supported on iOS 5.0 or higher. If you're on a lower firmware, you just use the original uh, Spring to Mize. So basically what this does is combines a lot of Cydia tweaks uh, all in one. It costs three bucks, but uh, with it combining all those tweaks, it's definitely, definitely worth it. You can pretty much customize everything uh, on your iPad as far as icons and layouts and stuff like that. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you some of this. Uh, right here's the dock. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on uh, the icons in dock to 10, and then I'll go ahead and turn that on. It says use custom number. You got to turn the option on, um, and then enable cover flow effect, uh, which is like You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so I'll go ahead and do that. Um, I'll change up the icons a little bit. Let's do um, the portrait. We'll do uh, eight. And then for landscape, we'll also do uh, eight. And then we'll turn on uh, five rows. I might not turn on five rows. I'll turn on new custom numbers, just like I did before, so it actually uses that. Uh, now, you can change animations, capabilities, uh, the dock, the lock screen, icons, folders, app switcher, um, 
uh, time machine, status bar, pages, theming, notification center, and more. There's literally tons of things you can customize with this. Now to, to activate all the settings, you just hit more and then respring. Um, and then it should respring and we should have uh, everything that we change these settings to. So let's go ahead and slide to unlock. And as you see, look at all those icons uh, on one page. This is just an amazing tweak and uh, like I said, it combines so much stuff uh, into one. Now as you see, my icons are like, they're kind of like crooked. So that's, that's the cover flow effect that I was telling you about before. Now I'll go ahead and drag some more icons into there just to give you an example of that. This can be also really useful if you want more uh, icons in your dock and you just want to have the regular layout up here. Uh, I can drag 10 icons in here. Um, so yeah, you can see that, that that's a very, very useful tweak. Coming in at number two is swipe selection. This is a free tweak in Cydia and this thing is amazing. Uh, if you type a lot on your iPad, it's going to save you so much time. Uh, so basically how this works is it's going to allow you to uh, move the little cursor if you can see the little cursor blinking right there it's going to allow you to move it really really fast when you install this all you have to do is drag your finger over the keyboard if you can see that uh, that little uh, cursor right there is moving so if I wanted to like actually there's a misspelling right there uh, I tried to spell just but I only put J-U-S I just scroll right over get it where I want it and T uh, normally I'll backspace that I'll go back over here I would have had to hold down give it a second, line it up perfectly, and then do it. It just saves so much time, like look at that. Booyah. To make the scrolling even faster, if you use two fingers uh, and slide back and forth, it's actually going to go quicker uh, through the text, just so you can uh, pinpoint uh, where you want to go and, and get to it even a little bit faster. Now if you're wanting to highlight some text and maybe copy and paste it later, or uh, just backspace it really quick and, and do a lot of it, Here's how it works. So let's say I wanted to uh, erase the word testing right here. I scroll over with two fingers, okay? And then I'm going to hold the up key, uh, or the caps lock key, and I'm going to scroll over. Check that out. I put one finger there, scroll over just as I was doing before, and it highlights. So I can actually highlight all this backspace. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for this. Look how much faster that was. So it's so easy. I just drag this to wherever I want to, hold the little up key, uh, and then select where I want, hit backspace, or uh, tap again and hit copy. Do whatever you want. It, it's such a useful tweak. I will not be surprised uh, if Apple integrates this into iOS 6, and they 100% uh, should do that because it is amazing and it saves so much time. And finally, coming in at number one and my favorite tweak, which most of you guys probably already know about, is called SB Settings. If you don't know about this, you definitely need to check it out. It is free in Cydia, and, uh, and it's also going to save you a lot of time. So basically what you do here is you swipe the little status bar and it's going to give you this. It's available also for the uh, iPad. Uh, but basically what it does is gives you access to a lot of little features that you have to open up in settings and uh, sometimes go through a few little loopholes and, and a few little more taps uh, to get to it. And it just takes up a lot of time uh, where this is super fast. You just swipe and then you've got everything here. Uh, so I can turn on airplane mode. I can turn Bluetooth on or off. Uh, I can turn down my brightness uh, or up or down my brightness. So I can change that. Uh, I can turn on edge data. I can turn off location. I can see all my processes here. I can go ahead and quit everything that I'm running in the background. Um, I can turn off Wi-Fi. I've even got more. I can refresh it. I've got uh, my dock. I can respring my iPad if, they're ha if it's having some issues and I can even turn it off uh, from right here. Now before we wrap up this video, let's take one last look at our sponsor, Jack Threads. Only suckers pay full price. If you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy but hate wasting all your cash on them, Listen up. You can score these premium brands at up to 80% off every day. There's a new invite only shopping club just for guys called Jack Threads, serving up street, skate, and surfwear at prices that will melt your brain. Oh, and did I mention it's free to join? If you want to sign up, go to jackthreads.com slash tie and you will instantly start saving without having to leave your house. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you click the like button down below. I really appreciate it and it helps me out a ton. And also let me know in the comments down below what your favorite city of tweaks for the iPhone or the iPad are. And if you want me to, maybe I'll do a top city of tweaks uh, for the iPhone soon. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more videos like this and I will see See you guys in the next one. Peace!